All right, so if you do a search for gallium on YouTube, you're gonna see plenty of videos pop up like this one, but what exactly is it? What does it have to do with science? Why are we putting on gloves? I don't know. They're I'm fun. excited about it though. Our <laughs> kitchen pantry scientist, Liz Heineke, is here this mid morning to show us more about gallium. This is your son's fault that we're doing this This is this my segment. son Charlie's fault. He's 16. He loves mm. chemistry. And um, we, we don't probably actually need the gloves. Gallium is not toxic. In fact, it's a non toxic alternative to the mercury that but, they used to use in thermometers. This looks much more exciting. <laughs> but, yeah. It looks exciting. But it, looks like it, does, it, it will actually coat your skin, so you have to wash it off after you okay. use it. Oh. Anyway. Right. So, gallium is an element. It's an element. The cool thing about it is that it turns into a liquid just above room temperature. So, when you order gallium, if you order it, you can order it on Amazon or anywhere. It comes as these solid crystals. Can you see that? It mm -hmm. almost looks like a ball of tinfoil, actually. It does. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. It's they similar actually, to aluminum, right? It's in the yes. same kind of fa in family. In fact, they, it doesn't exist naturally in nature, so they have to extract it when they're extracting other metals. Mm -hmm. It's brittle like glass. If you break it, I can't break this piece. But if you put it in warm water or let it sit on the palm of your hand, yeah. I'm going to give each of you guys an eyedropper. It actually right. will turn into a liquid. And when I was a kid, they used to have mercury thermometers. Remember the good old days when we could play with mercury? Oh, Before yeah. Before they started evacuating <laughs> schools? So, yeah. <laughs> because someone totally. spilled some mercury? So you look at this. this so you like look at this. <gasps> It, it looks like mercury, right? I'm going to put some in the palm of my I hand. I want some in my hand, Whoa. too. Whoa. Oh, it's just like, boop, boop. It's, oh, I got that's a lot so to cool. play with. Oh, fun. Um, if you put it. Don't bogart the, the oh, gallium. Here, have a little here, gallium. Can, can, I, can I get a taste? <laughs> you can get a taste. There you go. <laughs> oh, How cool see, is that? See, it's going to coat your, it looks your like hand, though. chrome. I mean, I know. it's got that and sort of shine to it. Because it solidifies at room temperature, like, you can use it to make. Don't drop it on my You can use it to make casts of things. Like, so, for example, we printed a Lego, and if you pour it in here, I'll use your eyedropper. Uh -huh. I was thinking you could do this with um, so you just smash a, a toy Lego car, into like a little dough. Make an imprint of something and some Play-Doh. Play the cool thing that chemists used to do, so chemists are, you know, jokers. They used to make, you could just cast a spoon out of this, and then they'd have someone over for tea, and they would give it to the person, and they'd stir their tea, and the spoon would melt. Hilarious. Right? Hilarious. Oh. Great sense of humor for chemists. Um, yeah, so here is, I'm going to pour this on here. This it also grows crystals, so you can, kids could do a time lapse of this. It's super cool. It stays liquid for a long time, but then if you add a little crystal to it, it mm. grows these cool geometric crystals. Huh. Very cool. And this is what it looks like when you pull out the plant. Here's the Look Lego. It's like a yeah, little Lego. That we cast wow. last night. I'm There's a lot of fun to be you can like have paying with attention, this. but I'm just playing with this. Yeah. This is and super duper fun. So, oh, cool. a little advice like, if, if your kid wants to order something online, Check out the safety first, or if okay. you're doing an experiment and you're not familiar with the ingredients, yeah. you can look up something called a material safety data sheet that will tell you all the hazards. You know, wear gloves, maybe work with this in a well-ventilated area. Sure. But if, you're, if your kid wants gallium, you know, just do your research. Yeah. And um, if it's safe, go ahead. And I, I actually tell my kids, you know, wear gloves. You don't have to because it coats your skin. <laughs> That's fine. So you have to wash it off. You'll have to wash it off. But if you're not comfortable with it, just take extra safety precautions, nice. you know, goggles, gloves, yeah. whatever. Just but don't this, swallow this, right? No, don't, don't swallow, swallow it. Swallow. I would say don't swallow most things Very that you advice. order online. <laughs> good advice. But you can just get it at Amazon, and there you go. Amazon, Gallium. anywhere online. Gallium. It's an element. Oh, it's it's so chemistry. Cool. It's atomic fun. Number. Isn't it? Do you know yeah. what's atomic number? Uh, 31. It's fine. Okay, yeah. thank you. I know that it's in row 13. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Very good. Uh, KitchenPantryScientist.com. <laughs> that was the worst. I'm sorry for no, doing that. No. WCCO.com <laughs> slash links. We will get you there. This was fun. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, that was super fun. Isn't I was, that cool? Sorry, stuff? I didn't ask any questions. I was just blanking. <laughs> yeah.